Liz with Crafty Devotion. I know I haven't been teaching for quite a while, but um, I've been busy, busy, busy listing my items, my lace and trims. I've got a lot of new things that I've listed in my channel, but on my channel, <laughs> in my Etsy shop, but I'm tired. So I decided I want to craft something and all I had mentioned many years ago, several years ago that with the Ala List Technique flower making, I can actually create these, uh, you can create butterflies, but I never really tried it. So I thought I'd try and create some butterflies and show you um, my idea on how to do them. Um, I didn't see any other tutorials similar to this one, so I thought it would be a good thing to show you guys. And you can use these butterflies for embellishments. Um, here you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make these make one fabric butterfly then that's for those people who who kind of need to show me fast quick because <laughs> i have different kinds of learners that watch my channel and um so i'm going to show you how to make one of the fabric ones and then i'll go in into a little bit more detail with tips and tricks okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use the, the this is the fabric i'm using i'm going to try making this a similar to this blue one right here Okay, and um, move that light, it's bothering me. Okay, so um, what I did is I cut a fabric piece and I'm finding that I like three and a half inches. Okay, so ho everyone, hello, welcome to my channel. This is Liz with Crafty Devotion. Um, as you come on, I'm going to show you how to make these butterflies. Um, you guys can comment, talk to each other because a lot of times I'm by myself and so it's hard for me to see all the chats, but you are welcome to ask questions and I'll try and look now or make sure you ask them later on if I don't see them um, after I'm done teaching. So I'm using a fab piece of fabric I cut out and I actually just tore the fabric and um, I'm making these about three and a half inches and I felt like that's a good size to make them. And I'm going to fold this in half. So those of you who need it quick, I'm just going to go quickly and you'll see what I do. And then I'll go slower for some of you who who need it slower. Okay, let me move some of these butterflies out of the way. Anyway, so here I go. I'm folding that. And um, kind of like I make my flower petals, but I'm using a little piece. If you ever see my Ala List Technique flowers, I'm using some of that same technique. And so what I've done is I folded it into quarters now. And then I'm going to fold it one more time. This is going to make two butterflies. Or you can make a double butterfly with this. Okay, so I find that this is a good amount of fabric to cut through. Okay, so one side is going to be where all your folded pieces are, and then the other side has an open piece and a folded piece. The side that's folded, I want you to start around here, and you are going to form this a lot like you do the petals that I've shown you for all of this technique. You're going to just kind of form it, okay? The other tip I learned is that on this part that's, that's open, you are able to, I want you to go in a little bit like that. So open it up. It looks like this. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, that almost looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? Okay, this is still together. I'm, this is two, so um, that's what that is. Now, the way you cut your wings is going to be up to you. So as you can see, I made an easy, like, it looks like a butterfly. But one of the other things I did is I learned that on butterflies, sometimes the bottom one is shorter and the top one's wider, so you can change your shape. So I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to fold it in half, this one, and I am going to shorten it a little bit, an eighth of an inch or so. You will do it the, as much as you want, and I'm, I'm making it a little shorter. So now I have, these ones are a little longer, this one's a little shorter. Then we're going to grab my hairpin, and we're going to stick it through. You know how I do my flower petals? Well, the same way, except that we only have two pieces. And so you can layer these and make, make it more than one um, piece if you want it to be. This is a very thin cotton fabric. It's not an extremely thick one, but any type of fabric will should stand up. If you want it thicker, then what you can do is you can actually just use thicker fabrics. I'll show you another fabric later on that I use. I'll show you a couple of different fabrics I used. I'm getting my string. You can use wire or something like that if you want, but I'm 
um, I'm this is how I usually make mine. I make I'm been making them with my string. This is a 100% cotton string that is um, a crochet string and it's kind of thin. Okay, I'm doing that. Pull on my pin. Now I'm going to finish knotting this. I make sure that these this is flat here. Okay, and then I'm going to knot it. There you go. There's your butterfly. This has not been shaped yet, so you could shape it a little more. I separate the wings from each other. I pull them up. And see how simple that was? So that's the basic butterfly. Um, so those of you who already seen that, you guys can do, you guys know how to make it. But now I'm going to show you what else I do. I've been doing this. Is I'll take the string and I'll knot it again, but on top towards the bigger butterflies butterfly bigger wings and I'll knot it right there just if you notice I'm just keeping it up right there okay it's hard to show you but pretty much I'm just keeping it up towards the top because I'm going to use these to make my own little antenna see I just knotted it up closer to the top and I did not the bottom not the middle and then I'm going to take this and pull it up these are just simple. You guys can use for your embellishments of different things. You can even stiffen them. I, I bet if you take these and you spray them with um, either, I don't know what to use for stiffener, any type of stiffener, starch. You can spray them with, um, you know, uh, even, even paint would work. And I'm just reshaped it. Okay, so there's the easy butterfly. You can see, look at the little, the little antenna. <laughs> They're just sticking out. So what you can do to add variation, you can change the colors of the antenna so the string doesn't have to be white. I'm using white. And then I'll take, I for my center, I, I'm using my flat. These are the flat back. Um, I'll carry these flat back pearls in my shop. I can, Now I have three sizes, um, two sizes with different colors. These ones are the peach, the dusty peach. And these are the four millimeter or three millimeter. I can't remember if they're four or three millimeters. And then all I'm doing is I'm going to glue this right here. I'm, I cut four of these because that way I have something to hold on to when I'm putting it on. Right now I'm using my hot glue gun, but for a lot of them I've been using, um, I've been using my, uh, my fabric tech too. But there you go. There you go. Simple, fast. <laughs> I hope this gives you an idea if you want to create butterflies on your own. And you can use any fabric that you wish. And like I said, this is a very thin, flimsy fabric. And look how that was. Created this. And I am going, running it along this line. Okay. So now that those of you who, who, um, you like to see it fast it's fast now I'm going to show you different little tricks that I've done that I've learned I'm going to show you some of these you can see on this one right here I changed the shape of the the petal oh, no that one's pointy that one's pointy this one's a little rounder did the same thing this one I experimented with um, with felt to see you can do it with felt I, I need to work on this more if I want to make more felt ones and what I'm doing is sometimes I'm I'm clipping off that fourth, that fourth one right here if I want. Sometimes I'm leaving it on depending on what I, I if I like it or not. So I on that one I clipped it off. This one is is uh the same fabric, but it, it, the way it was patterned, I made the pattern go be on top, and then this part came out white. So you could actually take this and embellish it more. You can add some more lace on it or whatever you want to do. But this is just an idea. Here's a cute, I use purple. And then this one, this one I want, I want it. Oh, I don't think I cut a piece of this one. This one's made with duck cloth. Can you see how it looks more shabby? So duck cloth is basically thicker. Um, I think duck cloth is more of an outdoor type fabric, but it's so thick like a, like a decorators, like for upholstery and things like that. I don't think this one's upholstery. Maybe you'd make pillows out of it. So I use this one. It's thicker, but it has big old weaves, so it's easy to fray. So this one with duck cloth. Let me see. 
Oh, I like this one. This is using a vintage fabric. See that? And you can change your shapes of your of your wings as you experiment. Here's one. I'm going to show you next is one with lace. I'll show you next. Then I'll show you the other one again. See, in this one, I used pink thread. And then I used a pink body. And uh, see, this one has a pastel pink with white. So the white, white antenna doesn't come up. So these would be really cute to use in your embellishments. You can make them a little bit smaller. This is my experiment with another lace that I have. And um, it was too thin, so I kind of double layered it. So that made it thicker. So you can experiment with the laces you have. I find that a little bit stiffer lace work would, was going to work a little better. So this right here is the next one I'm going to do for you. All right. And this is a piece of lace that I actually carry this one in my shop. What I decided to do was try doing it with the pattern. So this one, because I cut it about three, um, I had cut it about the other, the fabric about three inches or three and a half inches. It was The fabric I cut was three and a half inches by seven inches because I folded it and I made enough for two. So here's the second one I haven't done yet um, of that that white one so you would have come up with two of them this is going to make one butterfly so um what i did is i just kept it the same here this is a little bit wide this is kind of wide this is um two inch lace and the wings here are probably one and a half because i used a three inch so you can actually make it thinner if you want or thicker fold it in half again and now i'm going to work on the wings um Again, you're just you're shaping your wings any way you want. I'm going to make these ones pointy, pointier than than the other ones we saw. And I'm just kind of going in a point. You can change your shape. I'm doing the same thing. I know I have plenty of of lace here. I'm going to cut this again here. That helps it to stay together. And oops, there goes. there's two now. So I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to make it smaller, fold it in half, make it shorter. You can sometimes, sometimes when, depending on what I was using, I noticed that sometimes I also need to make it, make it thinner. So th thinner this way, the bottom leaf. Sometimes I need to do that. I'll do that on this one so you guys could see what it looks like. Okay, so this one's smaller now than this one. See that? Okay. Yeah. hope you guys have fun experimenting making these um, and you're inspired to use something that you have already in your in your shop oh I just did this I like to the area that I dipped in for this I like that to be the top because it gives it ability to go upward more you see how I gave it that ability to go upward and might stay that way better when you when you do this it's a very light one all right, so this one also, that's the dip right there. But really, just experiment with what you have. Now, when I'm doing this one, it's very light, so it's a little bit harder to to gather it. To gather, you got to go a little slower and make sure you're pulling all of your all of your things in there. It gathered. Okay, let me grab a piece of string. There you go. Now. I'm going to tilt this a little bit because I want you guys to, I want to be able to see my phone so I could, I could answer any questions you might have. I put my phone up above me and so I can see any comments. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, just go ahead and comment. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to wrap this around. Oh, I forgot I was going to try and use the pink so you could see the pink. Okay, let me, move, let me take this string out and use the pink. Here's some pink. So this is the same one. It's actually a tiny bit thicker. I think. So I decided to to come on because I'm I'm tired. I'm I've been busy, busy, busy working in my shop. And I said I need a break. I don't feel very well, and I need a break. And sometimes I just need to to craft. And I've been trying to finish this and finish that, and then I'll make something. Then I'll, you know how it goes. Sometimes you're just busy. And now when I do this, I did it once, like if you're going to tie a shoe, I do it twice because this this helps it to 
to do. What I say, two things I'm noticing that it helps. It helps it to stay together and not come undone when you pull out the pin. See, it's harder for it to come apart. Plus, it also gives you a little bit more length in the, the string that's here. So it keeps it more flat. So I'm just tightening that. I'm using pink this time. You can see better with pink anyway. See, just knotted it right in the back. Now let's turn it over. Look how cute. So you can, and if even after the fact, if you want, you see this is a little off. You can round it a little more or, or do change the shape if you want. Sometimes the biggest thing I've found is sometimes one wing seems a little bigger than the other. It's usually when I have the pin on that I check that. Okay. So it's cute. Very cute. You guys, all you have to do now is this one. I'm going to take the pink again. You can probably see better white on pink. I mean, pink on white. And I'm going to take it up towards this way. Okay. And then I'm going to knot up towards the top. And that's going to give me my little antenna. And that's why you can, right now at this point, after you do this, you could cut this off. And instead, I did put a wire on one. Let me see if I find it. Here it is. I put a tiny wire on this one. I didn't shape it very well, but oh, there it is. You can see the wire. I was just experimenting. I just put the wire on a little wire on there. So you could use a wire, you can use Chanel, whatever. So again, I'm still up at the top. Do that next knot. Get that on there. See how I'm at the top? And then I tighten up here at the top. And however long you want these, better to cut them long and then adjust them later if you want. And see, it's just a piece of string. So, like I said, you can stiffen this. You can, you know, use it on your little embellishments. You can decorate each wing. You know, it's really a little versatile versatile thing. And then again, this one I'm going to go ahead and put pink on it. Like I said, these are the, I don't know if they're three or four millimeters, but I have a few colors and these. And I finally found someone who supplies me. I cut three. I didn't want three. I choose four just because... I know I want about three of them on there, but I want I want to be able to have something to hold on to. I'm holding on to that. And I'm using my left hand when I put this on. Because it's hard to switch hands. And then I'm just... And when I'm putting this on, I'm putting a little high. And I'm also thinking about my little antennae. And I'm kind of putting them a little bit in the glue too. So that they stay a little up on that top one. There you go. So yeah, you can leave it like that, or you can cut off that last one. Um, I think on one of them, I, I tried cutting it, pull, rolling it back, too. So you can see. Look how cute. <laughs> I hope that inspires you to try and create your own little butterflies. Um, I don't, I didn't see any questions. If anybody has questions, now is the time to ask them. Um, and it's also a good time for me to just talk a little bit about my shop. I have been placing new things in my shop. Um, I'm almost always doing that. Sometimes I wait to run out, but um, right now I have been placing new things in my shop. And so you have to go over and visit my Etsy shop, craftydevotion.etsy.com. Usually there's a link in the the description box below in my um, my shop. I think this was my favorite. I like these colors. Although I think that this one's too big, so maybe I should trim these bottoms again, which is quite possible. And then there's another one with the pointy. This is a, a, the lavender. And see, it's just plain on the back, so perfect for you to add to any of your embellishments that you're making. And you, you might be able to experiment and make them a little bit smaller, um, but that's up to you. I mean, because these ones right here could be trimmed more after they're made. So that really, that was it, ladies. I just was, I was just experimenting and I, like I said, I needed to do something hands-on and I decided I'm going to go and just inspire. Hopefully somebody will be inspired and they'll be, make their own. Um, but you know, me and my, and my, um, my pedal. Now, is there, nope, I didn't see any questions, guys. I didn't see any questions. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more, but... Let me see. Just one that I've cut already, I think. So here's that one I was telling you about that 
the top the the fabric just was had a big white space in it so it didn't get all the so you see the pattern and um this one is already shorter i see okay i think i'm gonna i'm really really itching to just talk to you guys more and be on youtube more i don't know if i will be able to but i was thinking of just continuing to redo my my flower tutorials i did those flower most of my flower tutorials i did them when i was quite um quite young or not young quite new i was not young <laughs> that was the wrong word quite new to crafting and um now i think i could do better but like i said just have fun go everyone okay have fun making your own deciding if you want to try this but i also have tons and tons of of my videos are still up if you forget how to make my flowers that i make and uh i've been put i've been really really restocking my lace more and getting getting less and less of my vintage and um collectibles in my shop kind of downing that so i can have be a little more organized <clears throat> i've been finding that i'm just so disorganized have so much clutter in my craft room that it's been really really hard and recently my father-in-law passed away and so that was adding stress to our family and then also in addition to that i know some of you know that my son had moved in with us for a while just in transition to changing jobs and making decisions on on moving out of the state he was living in and now he decided that they're probably going to move out of this state too so so that's what it looked like see so you can choose your fabrics any fabrics you have um or like if you have the my if you get one of my kits which i think i'm really getting low on kits again um they only use peach this time <clears throat> yeah you can you can go i have little bits of fabric that you can do this with but really this is a great scrap craft you can just use your scraps and do things with it. But if you have questions after I get off, um, I, I do look at my, my comments and stuff and try to answer your questions if you have questions. So feel free to ask comment below if you have any questions. See, I like this one, staying long. There you go. All right, that's it. That's all I came on for. Just needed to quickly share share that with you guys and... Um, go on to something else I think <laughs> I'm gonna finish making these myself and then I'll go on to something else because I do need to create more um, dr more dress kits more more different different things that I have sold out in my shop so this is Liz with crafted devotion remember I do have an Etsy shop where I have a lot of lace trim supplies plus I also have my some of my handmade items in that shop so um, go visit my shop and Right now, I do. You can go ahead and comment on Etsy if you'd like a um, a discount code. Right now, I do have my some discount codes running um, for um, for my shop, so I can't remember what they are right now. But you need I, I kind of leave them on just for a while, then I turn them off, so I don't always have discount codes. And to remember that if you order over thirty five dollars, shipping is for domestic order shipping is included. Plus the 10% off will give you the best discount I really do offer in my shop. Um, I will talk to you guys next time.